So here we are in Monaco. It's a Thursday after the F1 race and all the grandstands are still up. We're on the main road here. The starting grid is right here and the finish line in the distance there. And right above us is the podium. How cool is that? Very cool. since the Monaco GP finished and as you can see behind me you can see the swimming pool there and you've still got all the bleachers around it so I wouldn't recommend coming before or after the Grand Prix just because it looks much nicer when you don't have all the scaffolding everywhere this is what this is not nicely normal why not wait that didn't even make sense this is not normal is what I'm gonna say why not it's huge look at this thing that is just mad. You think it's safe? actually quite challenging to drive here in Monaco because the Navi doesn't really keep up. You've got tons of tunnels, you've got roads above the tunnels, um, and it doesn't know half the time where you are, which way you should be going. It just, you know, kind of gives up on you because it doesn't have any satellite connection. Luckily, Monaco is quite small, so it's easy to find your way back. Daddy, do you think he would pick at you if you tried catching him? Like with hands? Like I think he just tried to get away. Um, yeah, um, when we were at the sea, I saw like a fish and he put his head off and out of the boat. This is the Princess Grace Rose Garden. Her husband built it after she passed away when she was 52. She was in a car crash. She was driving and she had a heart attack and the, through Monaco here and the car just went off the road and she passed away. And uh, the husband, the prince at the time, who was actually the father of the current Prince of Monaco, he was the one that created the rose garden in her memory. It's very pretty, with hundreds of types of roses. And it's very nice and it smells really nice too. It's like a cushion. Like a cushion? Yeah, a pillow. 
Man, that is, that has to be fake. That has to be. No, it was in the ground. And look. Say what? Let's see. That has to be fake. It it's is not. so soft. Yeah, right. Have you guys felt this thing? Yes. That's what I found. A 288 GTO next to a Ferrari F40 next to a Ferrari F50 alongside a whole bunch of other Ferraris. Only in Monaco. But I can't see my own head. Huh? Where's that picture? Oh, it's there. I can't see my own head. My own head is annoying. For what? Are you waving to yourself? I'm looking at. That was so good. So today we're visiting the rock, and I don't mean Alcatraz, this is where Monaco had begun. There is an oceanic museum here, there is the palace, and also we have a cathedral that we can visit here. St. Nicholas Cathedral and this is where all the family from the Prince of Monaco are being are buried.
a like a plate kind of thing that's that's like handicapped people. That who made? Handicapped people. What do you want to take? That one euro. Two of them. The idea is to throw in some coins for good luck, yes? Mm -hmm. So maybe you can go gamble and then you can win. Oh, look at that. How did you get that? Mommy. Take one. Are you going to put it in? Oh. Luck for my French test, I guess. Whee! Can we go where? To Laurie's. What is, what is Laurie's? To the oh, where you play, yeah. you, you can't go in there though. Here we are inside the lobby, and the kids are with us, and beyond here we can't really make it much further. Um, now you can go play the slot machines, um, they're just around the corner where obviously I can't film. There's about 30 slot machines in a relatively small room, so anybody can go in there free of charge. And beyond that, if you're looking to um, go into the rest of the casino and play roulette or whatever else, um, then you do have to pay, and I think it's 18 euros a person, and you need your passports. I like this store a lot, it's called Art in Time, and has a lot of unique pieces. So when the weather isn't nice outside, what do you go do? To a mall. That is very expensive. You go shopping, like anywhere else. had some fun there we were trying to catch fish but was not successful and then me and daddy went to rent a sea and yeah that was fun and how fast did we go 70 kilometers per hour was it awesome yeah you managed not to fall off yeah which was a bit of a disappointment <laughs> So it's awesome because we're only like three minutes away from the beach. Right, Laura? Yes, unfortunately the whole way is just stairs. Little exercise never killed anyone. <laughs> There's exactly 164 stairs. We counted it.
just like in Shrek. Mm -hmm. <laughs>